Namaste and welcome. My name is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance, welcoming everyone to my channel with all my love and all my heart. To all my beautiful existing subscribers, thank you so, so very much for your continued love, your support, your subscribes, your donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for helping me to continue to grow this community of love, light, where everything of love and light is open and we share freely of our energy here. Um, and if you're coming to my channel for the first time, I welcome you. If you like my content, go ahead and like and subscribe and become a part of this community. So today what I'm bringing forth is a message, a reading to tap into the energy of uh, money, finances, career, things that bring stability in our life, you know, our stable foundation from where we are tapping into the resources. So if our root, our foundation is kind of weak and it's wobbly or, you know, you're, you don't have a job or money's not flowing in easy, it actually creates a whole big a foundational is weak and then therefore we cannot live our life to our fullest so it's very important for us to bring balance in but many times the balance that is needed or brought in the root or in the foundational energy relates not as much with what is actually taking place in the finances and money but it's in the ideas or the blockages created in our energy centers about our own self-worth our own self-value about how we view abundance how we view prosperity how we view the world the worldwide view and our perceptions really bring in on how we are seeing the situations that are manifesting in our life so it's important for us to kind of look into that i am creating this bubble of space called july so the reading will be for july but if you happen to see this at another time you were drawn to it you were guided towards it know that this bubble of energy this uh and anything that's coming forth right now we'll discover together is meant to manifest for you at that particular moment in time with that let us dive straight into what is opening up in money finances and foundations for the people in the month of july july let's uh, let's see tarot first let's see what's come up up here yang very beautiful I love that before we look at anything yang energy yang energy do you see this this is like this ball of fire in that cauldron okay in that cauldron so I'm seeing in this month okay this is the number one about individuality, about self-expression, about taking action. This is the month where I'm already picking up a new opportunity, a new uh, way of uh, being, a new clientele, a new uh, service division, a new leveling up. You're going to be given that chance. It's going to feel very, it feels very magical. It feels as if it's come in from the hand of God and you're holding it in. It's time to receive that, to hold that in. So in this month, I do you see a brand new opportunity and an opening for you okay it could be a new educational venture that you begin in you want to start studying someplace and that that is adding on to your skill sets a growth in a skill sets okay a growth in responsibilities not just a bonus this is feeling more like oh besides just a quick one bonus this feels like almost as if a new cycle of work a new uh, something that you had not seen let's have a look let's have a look I don't want to keep talking about it without seeing more things. Justice. Your career brings... I need my glasses. Hold on. Okay. Now I can see. Your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. So I do feel with this Yang cycle, for some of you, you may be in law enforcement, in justice, in the fields where you are standing up for people. Um, you may be a spokesperson. You may be holding the light for others through your spiritual ventures. Maybe you are starting a spiritual business. You're starting a spiritual uh, venture. That's what I'm picking up also. I'm also seeing 
seeing obviously law enforcement, you know, law, you're a lawyer, uh, you know, you're starting up law, but that part is going to be supporting others. Maybe you do like a social justice. Um, and I'm also seeing um, not just, and I'm also seeing that uh, there's going to be fairness and justice that's coming in from the divine. This again feels like divine Divine is gifting you with something that you deserved. You've been working hard for something. I feel like you've been working hard for something for a very, 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 did I get enough varies? Yes, very long time. This has been long overdue. So justice coming to you where uh, things were not fair before. We leave that completely open on lots of uh, different scenarios can open up for different people. I'm reading for many of you, right? So there are many things that have taken place as far as your fin finances and your foundations with money and security goes. I'm seeing a new cycle, a birth of something new, a new, uh, new opportunity opening up. Let us see what else, what else, what else? You're on the right path. So keep doing what you're doing because it's working. I love that. Uh, whatever you're doing, it's working. Okay. Whatever your thing you're going on about, you're manifesting with affirmations, you're doing moon rituals, you're networking, you're being more positive, you're having a growth mindset, you're learning to release the emotional baggages, you're learning to stand up for yourself, you're exploring something new, maybe you're reading up about starting a new project, a new program, you're thinking of a new product line, a new service line, a new way of a new income stream, whatever it is that you're doing. Doing. your guides your angels are telling you you are on the right path and I also feel you're going to know that you're on the right path and I feel that this part this yang cycle is coming to you because it was meant to cross your path okay it was meant to come to you at this very moment in time travel oh that is wonderful I love that what does it say here perfect your life purpose involves traveling ah this is the angel on the go oh so um, perhaps some of you work in uh, aviation okay you work with you could be a tech person you could be uh, there's so many different um, arenas directly at the airport with the airplanes you're working directly with that and i also feel that now this new cycle on this path that people may be asking for you to travel to them to uh, make speeches to make presentations uh that you are the leader that people look to you to guide them and you're the one who brings in that fairness and lightness and it involves a lot of movement and travel that's wonderful that's wonderful. That sounds so exciting. That sounds so exciting. That's wonderful. I'm excited for you guys. It feels so good. Yeah. Ah, you got to share with me once this opens up. If something's coming up for you guys, share in the comments and tell me where if you want to share that. That would be so awesome to know that your life purpose involves traveling. Maybe that opens up and you get a offer and that's the new offer that comes in for partnership um, about travel. Let me know. Let me know. Let's start with tarot okay this is the root the empress i love that sacral energy Ooh, loving it already oh my god this is huge this is huge i'm so excited <laughs> ah. solar plexus Thank you. What is this? What is this? Ah, healing that. That's so good. What about the heart? Ah, yes! <laughs> this is so exciting. I'm so glad I had done this reading. <laughs> Uh, and I didn't realize that record button had not, I had done 45 minutes of this and they were completely different energies. And I went back inside the, the house and like, okay, I, whatever, it was not meant to go. Something must have happened. Good. Whatever. Uh, there was, a anyway, we won't get into that energy. That was so good. And I'm like, okay, now I'm hot. I need to change outfits and then come here. New energy, new, new part. And that's what I'm picking up. That's so exciting. That's probably why it wasn't meant to get 
recorded. Oh, that was so good. Just like for a second, I had a tear. Like, oh my God, that was like 45 minutes, angels. I'm like, okay, let me go eat breakfast. <laughs> oh, that was so good. I feel so good. Ah, I'll tell you. Let's see more. What is this? What is this? Wow. Beautiful. Key energy is the same. Thank you, angels. Mm, surprise shall unfold in a few minutes. Patience is always rewarded, my friend. Patience is always rewarded. Thank you, angels. <sighs> Something big is taking place in this month. It may take place towards the end because you're going to be processing some things. What I'm feeling with this yang cycle is that for your stability, Okay. In your work, finances, career, there is a new emotional experience that you're going to be having. This yang cycle, this movement forward, when you say yes, when you say yes to something which requires courage, which is something that you've probably not done before. It could be, a, like I mentioned, it could be a new role. It could be a new position. It could be you have to relocate somewhere. You have to travel for work. And it's just something that can be a bit scary because you've not done that before. You may have that tendency to kind of think like, I may not be good enough. Or maybe I don't have the right skill sets. Here's the thing for you. You got it. You got what it takes. You got what it takes. And that's why this justice, this justice for your work karmic justice is coming to you and what i'm seeing over here is that um the, the, what's what's going to be very very um paramount in this month is you want to be realistic about some of the things okay so uh, because what i'm getting in your root in your root chakra is that this is the energy of the empress which is very fertile which is very growth this is a growth filled energy this opportunity that's coming this new move that you're going to have this new idea that it's a start of a remember this this will be a start of a new cycle of a strong material materially strong in the material world strong for you as a strong foundation and this is feeling very much in alignment with the next stage of your up leveling for your life purpose of what you've come here to do what you've what you've come here to experience never mind what had taken place in the past of course it's never never mind but what i mean by that is all that were the stepping stones to get you to be in this exact place in this exact location at this exact very precise 
moment in time because there is a new door that is opening up here okay there's something that you are being guided towards push towards nudge towards getting getting that excitement towards starting something new and you it, it's going to require a bit of creativity it's going to require for you to maybe perhaps come with creative solutions creative solutions to where you are you know something that you can't see now like okay these are the four things okay uh if someone asks me how many pyramids are there i'm going to say okay i have this big one and i have four more so total five pyramids i don't know how i'm going to come up Perhaps through whatever is given there, your mind, when you stretch and expand it, it can come up with a new way in which perhaps you can create a sixth pyramid, okay, with the resources that are given here. That's what I'm talking about as creativity. I do feel like there's going to be a burst of creativity in this month. This is going to be like movement and where you felt like lull, not that excited, not that like kind of fun. Now that excitement and creativity is coming to uh, surface and I do feel that you're setting the stone for whatever this new beginning is it's going to set the stone for like if you've had all these challenges and uh, very difficult in finances I'm seeing luxury flow in I'm feeling like a luxurious abundant prosperous cycle you're beginning a new cycle okay it's like ending of a karmic with this justice you're on the right path travel and yang it's with a magician energy it feels like from this moment in time i mean july could move into august so give this period uh when we have like a major theme it takes some time okay it takes some time for it to jump start but it's like you're on that right path where you're opening that door to um an absolutely prosperous abundant luxurious lifestyle which is not like getting to your head but it's something that your heart has always wished and wanted desired to have the ease in life ease and grace in life to me i'm feeling like the cycle is going to bring in ease grace you deserve these luxuries you deserve these accolades you deserve this praise you deserve to be recognized for your creative ideas and perhaps that job or that particular way of doing was kind of limiting your creativity you were born for a lot more that's what i'm feeling with the empress energy what will support you during this time is to move realistically two messages are coming here well it says moving physically so it is to um walk run exercise do some sort of a physical body movement you like dancing whatever that physical body movement is it's going to support you because it helps also to shake the energy and also remember i'm starting with the root when you're doing a physical exercise whatever that may be whatever you're able to capable of and are able to find it i uh, find that time however it is for you okay for each one of us it's a different path now it will help you to keep grounding that energy because you're going to feel when you're exercising you're moving your body whatever you're doing you're feeling the physical senses you're feeling and connecting with the physical realm and now when you're out and about you're connecting with nature so you're picking up a lot of intuitive guidance and nudges so understanding the physical and not being disconnected from the body not being disconnected from the environment is going to support you you're going to gain a lot more creative ideas remember that your creativity may come on a run your creativity may come like i'm going for a swim i'm going to go work out i'm doing yoga and then suddenly you come back and then like wow i got this idea or you were in a park and you were playing ball and then suddenly you know like uh you watch some kids play and then or you're playing or in a skate park whatever that may be right and then there's the whoa whoa i never saw things like that and then suddenly that comes in begin to write okay so i do feel that's uh, there's a movement taking place and this movement now is not going to be rush its movement is going to come in more like you're taking practical steps what is it i have this big dream what are the steps i can take i like that that's what's going to support you that's what's going to support you in this whole month now what i'm feeling in your emotional body you're going to feel like a resurgence you're going to feel so good this is the ace of cups you're we got the empress the ace of cups i mean this is mind blowing new emotional experience full feeling uh, i mean this is not a romance reading the you you could even open the door to romance because you're feeling so good you're on top of the world and uh, this new beginning that comes in maybe this is a divine counterpart connection comes in we're not talking love we're talking money so i feel like this is going to be a complementary um energy connection that comes in 
I do feel that and that's why this is a birth of something new with one and to me this is feeling like the feminine energy I'm going to give it the number two and the three is the empress one two three the masculine the feminine uh, working with the spiritual energy to create something of greater value we talk about that in business all the time synergy right synergy something greater than the sum of the parts one plus one is one plus two is not three it's greater than that there's a greater energy that is generated with two complementary polar but once they harmonize and come together with different viewpoints with different ideas with the different working styles you come and amalgamate into that you create something absolutely phenomenal that's what i'm seeing that there's a potential opening for that that's coming it's again says starting things and the ace of Raphael, which is already an ace aces are brand new starts handed like wow we begin now okay so this is definitely a um an emotionally fulfilling cycle i see you standing there's going to be a lot of joy there's going to be a lot of fun and excitement and happiness and i see this person smiling i see uh archangel smiling here and i'm seeing these dolphins smiling oh my gosh you're going to have you're going to be having a lot of smiles which is amazing okay now what's going to require of you my dears is going to be uh you're gaining insight you may have been i definitely feel you've been in a lull period because you we've gone through a lot of heartache uh grief sadness things not working out a lot of conflict okay before okay now you've been through a period of healing and uh, what you're also being guided is during this month please take time out time out time out time out for yourself to nurture yourself that's what the empress does you nurture yourself what is it that you need to do to feel good you need to run you need to detox you need to go for a bath you need to you know uh, go lounge uh, you got to make time you got to go for a walk in nature spend time and connect with mother nature empress is the um, the energy of fertility when you connect with mother nature the mountains you know a night under the stars or with the sun with the moon with snow with sand with whatever we've got all these elements connect somewhere whatever wherever you are and uh, once you connect with that you begin to see the bigger and a larger part okay you begin to see the macrocosm okay when you're seeing from the macrocosmic place then you're able to materialize from the micro from what you need to see and do but you need to connect to the macro to connect to the larger part to connect to the web of life to connect to the web of uh, the 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 intelligence the divine intelligence okay to that network okay that's our network you know when we got the internet that that created a network right of connections through people of information you connected to the gateway of um, of communication with the higher realms with your insights that only comes in quiet solitude it, it you learn things with others yes of course but for you in this month what's going to be paramount is to take time out for yourself carve time out give yourself that gift okay you give to others you're doing things for the family you're doing things for the work aren't you working uh, so much for the company yes they're giving you a paycheck but you're working really hard time to give to yourself give that quiet moment it's going to support you okay you're going to get the relief and you're going to get the insight and i see you uh, popping up with a new idea with a laptop and like yes i can do this yes i can do this okay and it talks about doing the numbers so sometimes i do feel that what's important is perhaps you've lived in a uh, lived meaning in the past your energy has been a little bit unstructured so in this month what will support you is to be a little bit more disciplined do the numbers check the numbers okay check what what uh, is this fair is this just what i'm doing is the numbers what i'm offering is that fair it, what i'm receiving is that in fairness with what i deserve so this is also the energy of deservingness all right you deserve the best because there is a new opportunity that's coming in they see that so pay attention to the uh, numbers and also do the numbers for yourself look at start to see how am i going to prioritize my time okay i need to wake up at this time i need to have a schedule i need to do this and then i need my five minutes in that day no matter how many meetings you got no matter how much of everything is crashing around i need to center myself in the daytime that is my 10 minutes 
So whatever you need to do, you listen to uh, music, you listen to meditation music, you calm, you want to do your yoga pose, whatever it is to come back in alignment, that's you. You are scheduling your time. Okay, these are the things I'm going to do before I go to bed. No matter what, I'm just going to listen to music. I'm going to listen to the meditation music. I'm going to listen to the positive affirmations. I'm going to sleep on that. When I wake up, I want to wake up with gratitude before I touch the phone and look at all the billion and one things I need to do. So get yourself structured. Get Get yourself organized it's going to support you a lot you're going to gain a lot more insights about your own abilities you're going to gain a lot more insight about your capabilities and it is because you're going to recognize it when someone makes that offer to you like wow oh I didn't know uh, I, I just thought I was just being me and I didn't know that was anything special yes it is special. Yes, you're going to be recognized and seen for that. I see that. Okay. And then what I'm feeling in your heart is like this, focusing on your heart's desire. This is the wish fulfillment card sitting right on top. You got the wish fulfillment. This is something that's a wish being granted. It may trickle in in August, but I'm picking up definitely July. You'll begin to sense and feel and maybe it'll come through in July because I'm picking that up. Okay, for some of you, the cycle may open up in August. Okay, depending upon how you are um, energetically open to receiving and releasing and shedding the past. Okay, your dreams are being fulfilled. So continue focusing on the on the hard work. And I'm seeing a lot of rainbows. Maybe it rains where you guys are. So when you see the rainbow, remember, when you see the rainbow, whether you see it on a screen or you see it outside, don't go searching for it. Let it come intuitively. When it, come, when it shows up, remember these words that my dreams are materializing and that is a confirmation that my dreams are materializing i do see that so start to do things that bring happiness to the joy uh, happiness to the joy happiness and joy to your heart you know do heart-filled activities and things like that because that's going to open up the heart energy and when the heart energy is open and full of happiness and joy it's so easy to manifest that is the quickest way to manifest your dreams and i see that OK, um, uh, you're going to start to feel like I'm seeing you hold this horse, the time for enjoyment of beautiful things in life. And it talks about luxury and abundance. Finally, the resources flowing in. Perhaps you felt like restricted. You didn't have the resources. How can I continue this project? You know what? My boss, like suddenly the resources, the people, the right people, the help, everything's kind of flowing in. And you're like, wow, I'm feeling like. I'm feeling like on top of the world. I like that. I like that feeling. That's good. You're going to be able to put some pieces together. I like that. Um, also, with the investigative energy, what I'm picking up is that also in this month, what will support you is when you're taking those quiet contemplation moments, also see where have you allowed the past energy of perhaps an attachment to an outcome, attachment to a person. Uh, we may just think that Everything in career and money happens with whatever has taken place in the career and money. No, there's no like a set. The, this is the this is the box and this is another box and I will address this box later. No, it's a trickle of energy. Whatever your energy is, the impact in relationships. Perhaps somebody's gone through a divorce. Perhaps somebody's gone through a, a an estranged relationship. Perhaps someone's gone through trauma on that. That will impact your ability to manifest. So know that these are interconnected. So start to put the pieces together where did you give your energy away where did you give up on hope on your dreams perhaps it's time to take that back again so i do see you in this month uh with this uh, putting the pieces together what i'm also feeling that for some of you because everybody's on different stages and different uh areas of opening their their channels to receive um i'm also picking up that for some of you you've been putting the pieces together You've been putting the pieces together of your heart. You're opening up your heart to forgiveness, to opening to learn, to give, to give of your time, to give of your money, to give of your resources, and also to receive the compliments, to receive the help, to receive the support. And I see you learning that you've learned to piece a lot of things together and that is bringing in a huge shift and transformation and this month in your foundational energy is going to help you to move away from things of the past which kept you locked in fear which kept you locked in worry which kept you locked 
in loss which kept you locked in lack mentality wow i got all my tongue twisters in together yes and you're moving towards joy you're moving towards abundance you're moving towards prosperity you're moving towards i'm i'm worthy you're moving towards i believe you're moving towards self-esteem okay i'm also feeling in this month what's going to be very very important is do not take on all the burdens because uh, in your throat chakra i'm feeling with the 10 of gabriel it's like a lot of a blockage a lot of holding back this is not the this is not the time this is talking about getting to the heart of the matter so if you're the one who's been just doing all the house chores and you're doing the outside it is time to speak your truth you cannot carry all those burdens seek the help this also helps you remember when you open and express freely and you're not coming from a place of i should do it and i should get it no no you're being open and honest about it coming to the heart of the matter that for me to uh to do the job the best these are the support and the resources i need at least speaking it up will help you. you you never know your channel for receptivity is open maybe someone if you hadn't asked nobody's there to help you you never know and you may just be assuming that they will not be there for you okay so it is time to look at what's the heart of the matter do you really need to be doing all those responsibilities? How about you delineate some of the things, give up, you know, so delegate a little bit and let go of some of those responsibilities and the burdens. And that requires for you to open up from the heart and speak gently, but also firmly. OK, so don't work too hard in this month to please others, because what is going to support you is your creativity, your newness, the way you come up with certain solutions. OK, not to go with a bandwagon. It's important. Okay, that's going to be uh, important. Then we also have uh, where you may be feeling the perception. And this is where I feel like there's going to be like we talk about breaking of the glass ceiling. So I'm feeling like this is like the breaking of the glass ceiling with the mis perception misconception yes misperception misperception whoa, whoa yes like you're feeling stuck in some situations that's where i'm feeling this new cycle is going to come in do the numbers have a look at it have a look at prioritizing go and hang out in nature yes hang out in nature because i feel like there is a solution that is available to you where you're feeling like you are stuck you're never stuck okay so uh what's going to be helpful for you is to see things clearly to see things from a different perspective i do feel sometimes a mentor comes in a friend comes in i do see someone helping you to see things from a higher perspective helping you to see things from a greater vantage point so that you're able to kind of close the doors and chapters on some of the things of the past so you can open up so it's talking about be a little bit more investigative be a little bit more uh like detectivey about your life about things about what has really been manifesting and the heart of the matter is at our crown chakra at the divine soul level what you are doing is you're processing a lot and you are finally 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 moving away from unfulfilling situations this is the eight of cups energy eight eight so you may be seeing the numbers eight eight you may be seeing the numbers one one you may be seeing the numbers three three okay you may be seeing those numbers okay so i do feel that uh, you're being guided uh, there may be someone who'll be guiding you towards a uh, greater material fulfillment and also greater emotional fulfillment and greater spiritual fulfillment and for some of you you may be starting off your own venture you may be starting off a new project um, something that you had not kind of considered before i'm going to look at what three doors are opening up for the people in the month of july i'll look at three doors thank you let's look at the doors first door offerings abundance lies in the heart that allows share more than expected and see love come around look at this i just talked about giving and and looking through that door so you are now planting and you have been planting so we are on different stages planting new seeds in your consciousness i am abundant i am prosperous and i am sharing of my abundance i'm sharing of my prosperity i'm sharing of my time i'm sharing of my insight okay i'm sharing uh, willingly and happily so it opens and cleanses the heart chakra and then as you open that door as you have given freely know that that love vibration that that beautiful offering that has come 
from the goodness of your heart, not from the ego perspective of, oh, I think I will call in on that favor, but more in terms of this was heart centered. You felt called towards it. It is going to come back to you multiplied. So there is that door and we have um, the Buddha statue right there. Okay, Abundance lies in the heart that allows. Share more than expected and see how love comes around and those are what you're putting your pieces together okay that's one door that's opening for you okay that's beautiful offering second door distant dream the distance calls your heart to roam free as you dare dream it so must it be so i feel like you are beginning and once more remembering the dream you had when you were a kid or long forgotten in your psyche, long forgotten uh, because of whatever the life circumstances. And here comes another door, another doorway that's being opened. And I talked about the dreams over here. Your dreams are being fulfilled. This was perhaps a distant dream. This distant dream is not that distant anymore. It is coming. So think of it as that was the dream you had probably thought maybe it was, it's going to happen over the next 30 years. And then now you see it. No, no, no. But the dream I feel is almost right here. It's right here. It's in your aura. It's in your auric field. You can touch it, sense it, feel it, and it's going to manifest. Just sense it, touch it, feel it. What does that dream look like? What does that dream job look like? What does that dream, whatever you're doing, look like? What are you doing there? How do you sense it? How do you feel it? It's closer than you think. And as you dream it, so it shall be by the law of attraction. Now, the third door that's opening for you, look at this. Oh, this is gorgeous. Passages. Let me see. I need my glasses on this one. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Spiritual signs of inclination. You're walking through passages of your transformation. Spiritual signs of inclination. You're walking through passages of your transformation. So whatever your situation has been in your work, in your foundation, this is part of your journey. You're transforming the old cycle to a new cycle. I'm going to look at what are your two superpowers in the month of July. Let's have a look at the first superpower. Wow, light, and there's a lot of yellow. Solar plexus, you're made of light. Remember that this is your solar plexus energy. Focus on the solar plexus, focus on the light emanating your light, your, your gifts, your own talents and focus on that light cleanse that out and radiate that light out that is your superpower radiate your dreams radiate your positivity radiate your lightness radiate your joy radiate your laughter radiate your wit radiate finding humor in challenging situations radiate your love radiate support radiate ease radiate help radiate love and all of that shall be radiated back to you multifold. One more superpower for the people in the month of July for their work and career. This is what I'm feeling. Let's have a look at it. The engineer. We got a lot of investigative. So every problem has a solution. What's going to be your superpower is like this says here, the engineer. Okay, this is the energy of the Mars. Mars, Mars, the planet, is a masculine energy, and we have a new Yang cycle. So this is not the month to be dormant. This is not the month to be like, okay, nothing's going to manifest. Yes, your dreams are closer than you can think. There's that doorway that's opening. This is part of the transformation. This is part of the process. This is a part of the growth for you. You are there. You're walking through an important door, which is part, which is destined destined for you okay which is destined for you so every problem has a solution you're going to find the solution you're putting the pieces together you're investigating things you're getting to the heart of the matter you're processing things you're doing the numbers I'm already seeing with all of this this is the Mars energy like the engineer okay so being curious this is going to be your superpower let me be curious on what's taking place and um, let me um, you know be continue to focus and uh, be practical about the things that I'm going to take I'm going to be decisive about the things that I want to do in my life and I'm going to be generous hearted that is going to be the superpower for you that's opening up in the month of July and I will leave you with two final um, messages one is going to be a mantra that will support you is what I'm feeling 
I am shifting in vibrational honesty and sensitivity. I am shifting in vibrational honesty and sensitivity. And they're showing a lotus here. Okay, so you are in vibrational alignment of being honest and being sensitive. We are being honest is you're speaking your honest truth by not being rude and mean. You're being sensitive to how you're going to speak and express yourself. That is going to be a supporting mantra for you for this month for your work to manifest and bring those dreams closer to reality. It's definitely a new um, opportunity, a new pathway. Okay, so we got how many? Two. I'll take both. Oh, that's so nice. So this says here, when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. Did we not get about the light here? We got the light here too, right? It says here, when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. Because when you're focusing on your inner light, you're focusing on love, you're focusing on your abilities, you're focusing on your strengths, you're focusing on your gifts, you're focusing on your talents, you're focusing on your strengths and you are lifting others with that. Okay, you're being generous, you're being loving, you're you're expressing through that. So you see the world as loving. You do not see the world as a challenging place. You do not see the world as a world of limitation, but you begin to see the world as a world full of opportunities, as a world filled with light, a world filled with um, creativity but abundance that was the word that was coming to me final one oh I love this I don't need glasses for this one this is beautiful and we'll close out the reading joy is the ultimate creator joy is the ultimate creator okay that is going to be what supports you so following the threads of joy, following what makes you happy, okay, focusing on your light, focusing on your dream, your dreams are this close in this month, you're going to feel a palpable sense that your dreams are manifesting. With this new beginning, you're going to feel like this is a start, this is so amazing, I'm feeling so good as I'm uh, wrapping up this reading. So this feels like a very positive, wonderful, generous, uh, rightful, honest uh, foundation for you that you're setting up in July for your money, finances, prosperity, abundance, career, education, or entrepreneurship, however it uh, you know opens up for each one of you. So thank you all for being here. If you like my content, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate you commenting, sharing with me your journey, sharing with me what resonates and all of that. And uh, if you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one as a mentor, I am a mentor, spiritual guide, a catalyst, an alchemist, help you to stay in your alignment, help you to stay in your own light, to see your own light, to help you to see that for yourself so that you can take that light and open up and connect with your own path at a deeper, more fulfilling level. If you'd like to work and understand on how the laws of the universe work and how our energy centers are, how they impact our creative abilities, how they're impacting our expression and what we are experiencing. I offer uh, chakra healing meditations and I also offer our uh, manifestation through the chakra series. So if you're interested in learning to harness your own energy, learning to harness your own power, know your own energy so that you can become a conscious manifester. You may uh, wish to consider, you may wish to consider that and uh, if you like the way I, I express myself, that's just how all my classes are going to be, um, how all my journeys are with people. So I'm very happy to uh, do that for you. That's part of my life purpose. You can email me on that. Details of that are in the description box of this video. So thank you all for being here. Namaste and many, many blessings. May all your dreams come true. And remember, joy is the greatest creator. Send you all love and light. This is Arshna here. Take care. Bye.